Hello everybody, welcome to your second English class. Today, now, we're going to check verbs. In English, we have two different kinds of verbs. We have regular verbs and irregular verbs. Now, what is the difference? It's very easy. Now, here, all these verbs are in present. Walk, cry, want. Present. Now, if we pass these verbs from present to past, we are going to add ed to the termination, and that's going to be it. For example, walk in present, walked in past, cry in present, cried in past, want present, wanted. In the past, yeah, as you can see, it's all based in the termination. Here, there's there are some exceptions. For example, here the verb ends in y. So I'm going to eliminate y. I'm going to add i. Now, there's something more important about the pronunciation of the verbs that are regular in past. We have three possible pronunciations. T, the, it. We never say a. Walk it, incorrect. Cry it, incorrect. Wanted, incorrect. Then we have specific pronunciations for this. Walked, walked, cried, cried, wanted, wanted. Yeah, it's a short ed. It's going to depend on the vibrations in your throat. For example, doesn't produce any vibration in your throat. So, t, walked, cry, e, produce a vibe. It produces a vibration in your throat. So, we're going to cry, cry. Then, if we have a T, we cannot repeat t, t. That is not correct. So, in case of the verbs that end with D, with T, or D, the pronunciation is going to be it, wanted, or American English, wanted. Yeah. So those are the different pronunciations. It's just a short intro introduction. We can practice that later. Now, these are regular verbs, present, past. Only termination, ed. Now, the other verbs, the irregular verbs. As you remember, I sent you a list of verbs. Why? Because as we can see, the irregular verbs in present have no rules to transform them into past. For example, go in present, went in past, run in present, ran in past, fly present, flew in past. So they do not follow one specific rule. They are different. So in these cases, it's important to study the list of verbs or the different forms that each verb has according to past or the participle form according according to the tense so this is mainly the basic introduction to verbs regular verbs irregular verbs termination ed and different termination different words so irregular verbs need to be studied separately yeah so that's it that's the first part of um, this verbs introduction, so thanks for your attention.